Hello everyone, Vampire218 here, bringing you my week 2 match of the PFL. This week, I, the coach of your Ontario Amistars, am going against Iofis, JP, the leader of the league in the New York Matangs. And it's going to be a hard match, so right away I'm bringing Johnny Fists, you know, Stealth Rock, Drain Punch, Ice Punch, Earthquake. Uh, Johnny Fists is getting brought to try and counter a lot of the issues that he has. He has, uh, you know, that Reshram, and Reshram, I was looking, and I was like, ooh, I don't really have, um, a good Mon that can take Reshram hits, so, or, or even deal stuff back, so I was really bringing this to try and get up those rocks as early as possible, um, and, and spin block, right? Uh, he does have Roost. I don't even know if he has a spinner, to be honest. Uh, you know, thinking about it right now. And looking over his team, you know, he has Zapdos, which can defog. Um, he has a lot of things that can set hazards, but he doesn't actually have a spinner. But either way, this was a good mon to bring as a good defensive mon, as my uh, defensive tank. Uh... We're not even defensive tank, just a bulky set that can take a defensive uh, physical hit or two and, you know, get its health back and, and have good coverage. Uh, Snake, this week's going to be Choice Scarfed, trying to get up that Leaf Storm so that it can start killing. Um, classic Ditto set. Sriracha over here after uh, Coco. Pretty, pretty standard. This was going to be basically try and be my answer to Florgis, so... Uh, Spider Moon, Spider Mom here is, uh, I gotta get up webs, because webs are gonna be very important for those things like Megalop and whatnot, and then Gertrude here, um, just, uh, coverage in general, you know, if you look at the set here, it's pretty, it's set to outspeed a lot, uh, a few of his mons, so either way, we're gonna jump right into the match. And we're back, and we see what he has right here. You see he brings the Mega Lop. I was expecting that. I was expecting a lot of this. And at this point, I actually kind of look and I realize, oh, that's actually really, really a tanky team that can stall out a lot. And I didn't actually think of this in prep. So, you know, obviously I lead with Spider Moon here. Uh, but I, fa I imagine he's going for a fake out. So I go into the, uh, the Giratina here so that I can take the whatever he throws at me because this thing can tank that all day but he goes into the floor just and i just i have nothing for floor just on this thing so i'm forced to switch into the volcanian and it really does suck so obviously i have to go for sludge bomb but he protects so now i've revealed it so i go into spider moon here predicting a switch and i predicted the wrong switch but i'm able to get up webs I eat an Earth Power, and it sucks. So I'm forced to go into Johnny Fists here, who also eats an Earth Power. I should have gone into Giratina, but oh well. I go into Giratina now, um, and he is forced to switch back into Florigis. Uh, any Q just does nothing. I should have put an Iron Head or something on this, but I wasn't even thinking. So I go into this. Uh, I'm predicting another Protect, So, uh, and he does do the Protect. Steam Eruption, I'm just trying to get as much damage off as possible in case he switches. So, I see that Steam Eruption, it, you know, it burns, which is nice, but it's not doing nearly enough damage that I can break through this thing. So, I go into the Snake here because I'm figuring, you know, I want to get as much damage as possible. Get that Leaf Storm start getting set. Go into that. Now, I get that up. And I make a huge mistake right here. I pull back. And he goes for defog, and that would have been an amazing if I would have stayed in, and that could have actually switched, turned the game right around because I forgot how contrary worked, and I knew I could live one flying move from this thing, so uh, I could have kept hitting that and see what he wanted to do, but he predicted. I think he must have predicted the switch, so I should have stayed in, and I would have got my evasion up. And it would have been very difficult to beat me at that point. Because not only would I have the speed, I would have the special attack and the evasion. And it could have actually completely turned the game around. So either way, I go for a Thunderbolt, which does like nothing. Volt Switch does nothing too. So he's going back into Florges. 
and it, it really just goes like this for a while we're having to play this switch game i go back into snake he goes back into the zapdos and it really sucks because now i have to go into blobo see what his set is and i realize he's a very defensive set he has drill pack volt switch roost and defog so i just go for volt switch going back into the giratina because i'm having to play the switch game as well it's all i can do he's got a hyper defensive team he goes back into the Florges, um, and it really does suck because I didn't have anything that could just break through the Florges, and if I had had something, it, it would be great, but I, I just didn't have a physical Mon that could deal with something like Florges, so I eat a Moonblast here, and it really does suck that I take that level of damage, but I, I have to go for Giga Drain to try and get my health back, and it does like nothing. So I uh, locked into Giga Drain, I have to switch back into Spooderman, um, and it really sucks because it doesn't do anything, like his team is very bulky, like hits like this stab should be doing quite a bit. Uh, you know, Drill Pack does very little to me, um, Volt Switch does very little to him, and we're just playing this Switch game and it really does suck because I would have loved to actually, uh, you know, done something this match. We're going to fast forward here a lot. So I switch back. I get the Florages. But there's a lot of switches happening here. He goes into this. There's more switchings. Uh, he EQs. N like nothing is happening really. And it, it really just was until something broke. And you know he goes into the Megalop. I'm trying to wish. I'm trying to get my stuff back. I go back into the uh, Giratina. He sets up a sub though. Um, high jump kick which misses. But it's not enough because he still has a sub. I can break his sub with Aura Sphere, which is nice, but he switches out back into the Florges, and Aura Sphere does nothing to it. So, back to the Switch game, Ditto can't do anything, Sriracha gets the special attack drop, which sucks, so I have to switch out, and I lose Spoodermon here, Be um, I go into Giratina, and at this point I'm just, I'm done, because I know I can't win. Because of the special attack drop, I, I knew I couldn't kill this thing with a Sludge Bomb, um, you see there it did 40% so it would have been nice to be able to stand but oh well and I, I'm just done because can't beat the stall right so we just go here um, I'm trying my hardest to just pick up a kill but you know I'm got the ditto out the roost going to Giratina he's still playing the switch game I thundering it's nothing Draco gets the kill I have to switch into a minus oh I got point Minus two, and we do end up losing here, even though, you know, I'm forced into the Traco. And it really does suck, because I didn't prep for Hyper hyper Tank. So, I've been Vampire218, the coach of your Ontario Amistars. Hopefully, in the future, I will be able to prep better for Hyper Tank team and whatnot. So, I'll see you guys next time.